In this video, I'm going to tell you Viagra lowers blood pressure or raises it. Viagra might be an embarrassing topic for some to talk about, and that's why most people ask me about it through email and not in person. I'll answer all your questions right now, and you might be surprised to find out how Viagra got its start. If you want to see more blood pressure videos like this one, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. The story about how Viagra got started is pretty interesting. In 1989, two British scientists created a drug called sildenafil citrate, the active ingredient in Viagra. But they didn't create it for erectile dysfunction. They believed it would be useful in treating high blood pressure and angina. In 1991, a British patent was filed for sildenafil citrate as a heart medication. In the early 1990s, the drug company Pfizer completed several early trials of sildenafil as a heart disease treatment for angina. The trials offered little hope as a treatment for angina, but the volunteers in the clinical trials reported increased erections several days after receiving the drug. The volunteers didn't want to return the drug. Can you blame them? The rest is history. Viagra gets released and is known about in every circle as the drug to treat erectile dysfunction. It seems a lot of people think Viagra raises your blood pressure. I think it's because of some of its side effects, like facial flushing and headaches. Given the false impression, blood pressure has increased. But let me tell you how sildenafil works. It relaxes smooth muscle tissue and opens up the blood vessels, increasing blood flow. Because of the increased blood flow, it helps to lower your blood pressure and not raise it. In fact, it's being prescribed for high blood pressure under a different name, which I'll tell you about in a few. The blood pressure reduction is proven in studies. John Hopkins Medicine conducted a study including healthy men and women. They concluded Viagra improved heart stress and blood pressure. Another study included 49 men who were given a dosage of sildenafil. The men showed a reduction in systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Also, the men in a study that had high blood pressure showed the biggest reductions of 20 millimeters of mercury or greater in the systolic number. There's a drug out there called Revadio. The main ingredient is sildenafil, and it's being prescribed for pulmonary arterial hypertension, which is a life-threatening condition that means you have high blood pressure in the blood vessels that lead from your heart to your lungs. Why is Revadio marketed under a different name? Why don't they call it sildenafil citrate? Because everyone knows it as a sex drug, and using a sex drug for pulmonary arterial hypertension may raise some eyebrows. Get a free Top Tips Health Guide ebook by typing the following into your address bar, bloodpressureexplained.com slash ebook or click the link down below. If you like the video, click the thumbs up, stay healthy, and I wish you and your loved ones the very best.